When you start out, the first time you want to print, you may find that the print dialog says that no printer has been selected. Now, if there is no printer attached to your computer, you may not be able to do anything about this. And by attached, I don't just mean with a cable to the computer. I mean attached via any communications medium that both the printer and the computer can use, and that includes wireless, networked printers, any of those. But if you have no printer selected, then you need to add the printer to the system. And in order to do that, you choose Add Printer. And it will go out and look for printers that are available. And you'll see that you can find printers of various types. An IP printer is one that you can address with an IP address, usually over the network, over the Internet. You can look at Windows printers, printers connected via the Bluetooth wireless technology, which means close at hand, Apple Talk printers in your local area network if it's running Apple Talk. You can look for fax devices, and you can look for default devices such as the kind that are found using the Bonjour networking discovery technology that's built in. You don't have to worry about it. What it does is, instead of your having to fill in an IP address or to worry about Apple Talk zones, it will go out and if it can find a printer, it'll ask it what it is and give you the name and you can then choose to add it. Now this printer that I'm using here is an interesting printer. Not so much because of the printer, but because of its location. This printer is plugged into the USB port on an airport base station. So the printer is actually across the room from me. There is no wire between my desk and the airport base station. So I go onto the internet through the wireless connection and I use the printer attached to the airport base station wirelessly from this computer. Anyone who has access to that airport base station has access to that printer. So even though this particular printer is not networked, it's not networkable in the sense that a printer that has an Ethernet card can be, because it can be plugged into that USB port on the airport base station, I can indeed share it. So that's the printer that I want to use. And down here I can select a driver. Usually, by now, there are so many drivers available that Mac OS X usually will have a driver that it can use for the printer. If you don't find one or if you feel that you should get a new driver then you can download them and select a different driver from here. Why would you feel that you need to get a new driver? If you have purchased a new type of printer, not just a new printer, but one that has just come onto the market, it may need a different type of driver. So you may need to download a driver from the vendor's website and they will typically have drivers for each operating system. As you scroll through, of course, look at the date when each one was posted because it may be that you've bought a brand new printer that came onto the market yesterday. But when you look at the driver, because although the printer has wonderful new printing features, its communications are the same as they were for last year's printer. So if you find that the driver that is recommended for Mac OS X and for your particular printer has a date on it of a year ago or two years ago, then don't worry. The driver that's built into Mac OS X will be just fine. So to add a printer, you select the printer that you want from whatever one of these types of printers you want. For most of us, we just use default. And we may have several printers that are discoverable. And we add whichever ones we want. Now, this printer has been added before. So there is a print queue for it. I just deleted it now so that I could show you the process of adding a printer. But I know there's nothing in the print queue, so I can add it. It takes a few moments to add it and set up all of the background queues and so forth. And then this window will close and I will be able to use that printer. As you can see, it's already started to update this. And I could now print onto that printer.